Droopy, a member of an L.A. street gang, witnessed firsthand the segregation that happens in prison. I did five and a half years for the same robberies. Basically in there, when you're in prison, it's all about your own race sticking together against other races, against whites, black, others, you know? It's a question of survival. There's strength in numbers. At one time, the, the uh, African-American inmates, they were uh, the dominating factor. And now it's turned around. Now it's the Hispanics. Uh, numbers mean power. A black man says, yeah, I hung out with Hispanics all my life on the streets. But they get in here and it's a no-no. They don't like dealing with Hispanics because for fear of retaliation from their own people. You know, hey, why are you dealing with the Hispanic? And these are the rules that they put upon themselves. Latino inmates will go so far as to attack fellow Hispanics just for associating with blacks. This inmate was getting released. He had all his gear, he was getting ready to leave, and he saw this Hispanic inmate playing dominoes on a, on a table with other black inmates. He went back into his cell, he got a razor blade, he went behind the Hispanic, and he proceeded to cut up his face. Here's a guy that was just getting released. I later interviewed him and I said, can you tell me why you did this? He goes, I, I'm hoping that this will uh, bring me up a couple notches within the, uh, the Hispanic gangs. The racist attitudes that divide black and Latino gangbangers in prison often become ingrained in them by the time they return to the outside world. A lot of guys are getting out of prison and mentality and going to, back to their neighborhood and saying like, hey, you know, these blacks or these, Mexican, you know, that's how it is right now. Race will pump me up more, you know, like, just because they were black, I would want to get them more than a regular enemy, you know? By the late 1990s, race-motivated gang murders in L.A. began grabbing headlines. A disproportionate number of these crimes involved Hispanic gangs killing black gangbangers or even black civilians because of their skin color. Authorities believe that Mexican Mafia leaders have ordered their Sereno foot soldiers to expel blacks from the growing Hispanic neighborhoods. Said that if we saw an African American in our neighborhood, we should shoot him, harass him, kill him. Why are the Hispanics attacking us? Because we're, we're black, they want to control the, the drug flow inside the neighborhood. It's probably connected, and I, I, won't, I won't say if it, it's not. They outnumber us 10 to 1. They outnumber the Bloods and Crips, and they're, they're making a, a play for power.